Like how these guys scream. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In case you missed the last episode, well, don't worry because you didn't miss much because, quite frankly, nothing happened. Um, the only thing really important that happened last episode was that we got the scent for the missing statue, or I guess wooden f figurine, I guess you can call it, that we need to return. Or we don't need to return to the doctor, but the doctor was talking about it, and as she leaves from his office, you can see this green scent here that we need to follow. So we're going to follow it from the office. And this will hopefully lead us to where this wooden figurine is, and we can use it to help uh, restore the memory of, of Ilya. That's kind of the goal here, to restore Ilya's memory. And it actually leads over here to this cat. So maybe the cat saw it. Let's find out. Can I talk to it? There we go. Looking for a wooden statue that Ilya had. And it turns out it's stolen. And it turns out that I was correct about the skeletal dog beast that were in South Hyrule Field. Because I remember in the last episode that I thought that's that's where you had to go to find the the wooden figurine and then you acquire the scent that way I didn't I forgot they had to push the block in or the box inside the doctor's office to acquire the scent so a little bit of a slip up there but I was I was on the right track so I feel like that's somewhat of a victory but yeah now I have to go down to South Tower Field you need to remember to come out here at night otherwise the Skeletal dogs will not appear, so thankfully it is night right now for us, so we don't have to wait. And they're gonna appear right down here, and then there's a whole bunch of them too, so this is a perfect time to use Minna's uh, lock on tag, and it takes out pretty much all of them. Let's see if I got them all. I always miss like a few of them every time I do this. And they're dropping, and yeah, they drop a bunch of rupees too. Uh, there's our wooden statue. And this will help restore her memory. That's the key to restoring it. Yeah, she, they, they drop all sorts of rupees. Look at all those fives there. There are a lot of tens over here, too. I don't think these guys ever reappear. And I think that's the only time... No, well, I think you might find them in other places in the game. I'm pretty sure you do. But yeah, they don't, like, appear out there in South Haru. I, well, I don't know. They might actually appear out there from here on out. I don't know. Who knows, but if you do ever find them, they're good to grind rupees off of. Then again, I don't need them at all. I just realized I'm full at 600. I really need to expand that wallet. Even though, I mean, I'm not going to be using rupees for anything. And by the way, I should uh, be warping. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I need to warp back to, to Kakariko. I don't think there's much more of a use of the Doctor anymore. So... Yeah, I think we're done with him. Now we can just warp on out to Hakuriko Village. Doesn't matter what time of the day you go back there. Either way, Ilya will be inside the house of Ronaldo. So, yeah, we just have to show her the statue. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using rupees that much more in this game. I'm trying to think of what I would use it for. Not really that much. There is a huge side quest that I could do that uses uh, rupees and it'd kind of be fun to do, I guess. But the thing is, this side quest that involves you saving up a bunch of rupees, you basically do to Malice Martin, there's like a Goron that can like hold a bunch of rupees for you. And you're basically like donating to a fund to, um... To save up to open like a Malice Mart in Castletown, and that's not what we're supposed to do. Yeah, you have to lock on to her. And that side quest involves like a lot of saving up rupees, and what you can get from it is actually magic armor. And I'm talking over Ilya right now. <laughs> I feel kind of bad about that. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have a cutscene here. I'm not sure. Ooh. A 
Okay, so they're speaking of a hidden village that we need to head to next to um, meet someone who will be important to helping us restore the power to our Dominion Rod. And also help us restore I I Ilya's memory, too. This is kind of a confusing part of the game. Just, like, how it works. Like, how things restore her memory. Because I don't think we're quite there yet. But yeah, now we have to head for that hidden village. I know exactly where that is. And... Um, I'll just ride over there. I could warp there, but I'm, I'll ride with the Pona. That way I have her. Because the hidden village is a little bit of a ways away from the warp point that uh, there's like a warp point right by the Bridge of Elden, but that's still a bit of a ways away, and I want to have a pony there. And I don't think there's any grass nearby that, so yeah. But while I'm riding there, I can talk a little more about this side quest. Uh, again, you go into Malice Mart here in town, which is only open during the day, so I can't really show it at night. But, um, in, there's a Goron in there that you can give rupees to, you're, and you're, you're saving up for a fund to basically open up a Malice Martin Castle Town. And then, and then there, once you open that up, you should, there should be on display magic armor, which actually allows you to be invincible when you're wearing it, and it takes up rupees. Like, as you're wearing it, your, your rupee count will go down. But it is extremely broken, and it's actually, you know what, it's kind of an example of why I don't understand why this game doesn't have magic. I haven't really talked about that before. And yeah, this game doesn't have a magic meter, and that's kind of been a trend with recent Zelda games, and I don't know why, because I like having, like, magical type of items, like, like fire arrows and ice arrows and that kind of stuff. You know, I just think those types of items are cool. It's cool to collect them, even if they're, like, not necessary for being in the game. It's still, you know, fun to collect those types of things. Like, Phantom Hourglass doesn't have one, Minish Cap doesn't have one, Spirit Tracks doesn't have one, this game doesn't have one. In fact, I think the last game to have a magic meter is, uh, Wind Waker. I, just, I don't know why they stopped going to that. Bridge is hard to see. I always mess this up. At night, it's just hard to see this bridge. Come on. We have a bunch of archers here, obviously, that we need to kind of avoid. And it looks like right over here is where we need to get off. I'm gonna ignore the archers. Damn, I wish it was daytime here just because it's so dark. This should be where I'm going. Man, I'm kind of blindly going to this tunnel here, but yeah, there is a tunnel here, and this is where we need to go. This is what leads to the hidden, hidden village. Um, before we... Oh, yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, good, it'll break. I was gonna say. Yeah, this Goron won't be here trying to break this until we return that statue back to Ilya. Otherwise, we can just come back here that those rocks will be in the way, and you can't get through it. Like, you'd think you can use a bomb, but no, you have to use the big Goron here. And, yeah, he's talking about, like, some cats that are there. There is a little mini-game that we can do here that involves finding cats, but I'm not sure if that's required or not. It could be, but I can talk about that later. But, yeah, we open up a whole new area of Hyrule, the Hidden Village. A very stereo, very stereotypical old western ghost type, type of thing. Now, that door that showed in the camera there, that epic zoom in shot, uh, is uh, is locked. We can't get in there. That is where a per a an old woman is that we need to meet in order to get our Dominion Rod uh, restored. We'll find out a little bit more how how she's important after we complete this part of the game, which is a shoot 'em up of all these uh, Bobblekins, 
or whatever they're called. And on the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see a um, a count. If, and that's how many of them we have to defeat in order for that door to become unlocked. So this actually might be challenging. Just because I have three hearts, you know. That whole thing. Yeah, almost all of them are archers. There are a few that aren't. And uh, archers are weaker as far as defense goes. They take less hits to take out. And that's pretty much what Moses is, is just shooting down these guys and through bow and arrow. You might yes you might need to take cover at times and kind of peek out. And yeah, when you're locking on you can move, thankfully. So you know I, you know, I was talking about how like in Skyward Sword how the like first person view allows you to move your your character around and, and how it's all convenient, but you, you can do that in these games too. It's just not quite this I, I don't know, it is pretty much the same thing, like locking on and then moving around. Still comes in handy. I need to get in a better position than this. So I'm way out in the open. Um, all over the place here, you can find. Oh, shoot, let me try to. Man, I'm too used to Skyward Sword. Yeah, like. There are a few, like, barrels you can shoot at to blow up that are, like, typically right next to these guys, so that's something to look out for. The hard part about this is just seeing where they are, because it's dark out, and they're dark in their, like, tone, and their skin tone. So you really just have to look out for their arrows whenever they catch on fire. They're, like, whenever they're ready their arrows to shoot them, they'll be, like, on fire, you can see them. Am I out of arrows? No. Now, a good thing to... A good little tip to keep in mind is that whenever they shoot arrows, like they'll get s stuck in the ground for a few seconds, and you can actually pick them up as like one arrow if you are fast enough. But like you can only pick them up when like on fire. Let's see if I can get one right here. Yeah, see, I just got one. On, if you could tell that. How are we doing right now? We need ten more to take out. There's a bunch in this little building here. I'll try to save my... How many do I have? I, oh, I have 40. I'm fine. Damn, yeah, this is... Yeah, it is easier in Skyward Sword to, like, aim and move at the same time. So that is something that does come in hand. Ooh, I want to get those arrows, maybe? No. Oh, well. No big deal. Are there some outside? Like, some enemies outside? Oh, I know there's one, like, up in the ceiling. Right. Yeah, there he is. Damn. Hard refill is actually hard to come by in this little thing here. So I'm not sure if this hold on. I wanna get at a good angle here. Because I wanna be able to shoot this guy right as I come out, because these guys shoot pretty quickly. Actually I think I have a good shot on there. No, not quite. Damn, do I don't I have an opening here? Can I please get over that? There we go. Damn it! Actually, yeah. As soon as you get hit, move back and try to regain your aim. Damn it! Come on, man. You'd be f you're a faster shot than that. You're fucking blink. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Let's see if we can get something from these barrels. No. Yeah. Like I said, heart refills are hard to come by here. So this actually could be difficult with three hearts. Did I blow up in? I don't think I ever blew up in the barrels. Is that a barrel? No. I think that's the one I can shoot. That's yeah, hard in it. Nice. Can I pick that up? I think I did. Alright, cool. Now, off the distance. Ah, oh, come on. Camera. Yeah, it's much better with Skyward Sword. Much better. Motion. Uh, it, it's proof that motion controls can make a difference and can actually enhance the gameplay. And I'm not saying this is bad, it's just, I'm just saying Skyward Sword's a little more convenient. Okay, there are guys up high there. Oh yeah, there's a bomb up there, cool. I'm just gonna shoot this, or slice this guy up. How many do I have left? Five, are there any more out here? I'm not getting shot at, so I guess the rest of them are in this building. You can see one right behind this uh, window here, I'm shoot him down. The rest probably, I don't think they're all in here. Oh, there's one. Of course, the good thing about this game is that you can 
lock on and automatically shoot at them. That's one plus side to the to the other three Zeldas. Some sword for him. Is that the last one? Yep, that's the last one. All right. Very nice. And now that door will open. I think yeah, she comes out. All right, and actually, with the completion of that, this is a good time to end this episode. But will there be a cutscene? Okay, well, after this cutscene, I guess. And we get Ilya's Charm. And this is something that we need to bring back to Ilya to, uh, again, this is kind of like a, 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 like a clue to showing her memory along with the wooden statue. So yeah, we'll have to kind of do the same thing we did the statue and show it to her once we get back to Kakarou Village. And we'll go from there.